I don't know. Where's he? he? He's a Jamaican pickle. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's Felix. I know Felix. Hey, he's brand new. Oh, he's Thai. He's got a lizard. No, he's got a dinosaur. Whoa. Peppa, Peppa with a dinosaur. dinosaur. Denise Austin. Some of these weightlifting belts could be worth some money. Is that a name? Zombies. Denise Austin, yeah. From the Earth Zone collection. I have to look up, uh... Oh, he's too heavy. <laughs> Plato? Is that his name? Could be scoring on the plushies here. Especially... What's his name? Goofy? Goofy? Goofy has a... Shame we don't have a tag on him. Oh, he's called Dragon. He's Pluto. I'm a goofy. Yeah, so with plushies being so expensive here, we're taking them back. He's usually like, could probably get 10 bucks for them, but they're $3 here. So no go. Squishy menu. Did you have a secret hiding spot in there? You gotta, you gotta always look in the secret hiding spots. This guy. He's weird looking. He is weird looking. He's from Burger King. Probably not worth a lot of money. What is this thing? It's got all the racks in it. I think this is brand new. What is that? No, nothing. This is 100% brand new. Hmm. Asking 20 bucks. The ninja. Let's see what the back says. It's a monster ship. It's pretty heavy. Foodie Smart XL DT201. Look this thing up. I got a feeling that's gonna be good for 20 bucks. I bet you the trays alone are worth 20 bucks. That's a pretty good find. This is a Merrill Lynch. Isn't that a, uh, I don't know if that's a head cover. I think it's a puppet. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> a head cover. All right, after 16 hours of research, I found him. How much do you think he goes for? Let's see if you're right. 15. 15. It's the only one ever listed that I can find. Oh, wow. Yeah, he's a keeper. He's in good condition. I'll clean the leather up and good. All right, so we're gonna go over the stuff as we buy it today, just to tell you the profit. We actually rounded up, so it was $27 for everything. This little guy right here, Merrill Lynch. They're calling it a head cover. Could be a head cover, could be, um, I don't know, like a puppet. I don't know why you would have a puppet like this. So we'll call it a head cover. And he goes for $34.99. And actually he's the only one that's been listed and it has sold. So I'm gonna price him high for like probably $49.99 and see if we can get like, 40 bucks out of them. I think that we probably can. So we're already in the profit. Actually, it's only going to be 25 bucks because Kayla bought that for herself. So we're already in the profit, like 10 bucks. Now, the Ninja is really, really nice. It's actually brand new. And the reason why I bought it, it has all the pans in it still. This pan alone goes for 40 bucks. This pan's 10, this pan's 10, and this pan's 10. So you're talking 40, 50, 60. That's 70 bucks just in pans. And then the actual thing goes for about 50. So what is that, like $110 in the profit in one goodwill? That ain't too buy it. Hey you being a ninja? Ninja. It's missing. There you go. Not so good strap. It's six bucks for old Nikon. That's really not that bad. Yeah, but for $6, I think that bad. We'll take it. These things usually sell too. Five bucks, though. Oh, I don't know about these. Three bucks. Is that Wedgwood for seven dollars? 
some wedge wood's pretty good. Look, they got the old Nikon, six bucks. It's in pretty bad condition, but I think it'll still be all right for six bucks. What's the old wedge wood look like? Is that good? Uh, I think it depends on the color of it and the design. It's not where I thought that was going to be at all, right? No, wild strawberry. Wild strawberry? Huh. I thought that was going to be like the blue. <laughs> These snow babies are rough. I need a hug. We all need a hug. Six ninety nine for snow baby. Leave them all behind. I think this one might be actually pretty good. I know four bucks is rough, but I think it would still be decent. All right, so Salvation Army, this was store number two. Again, we're gonna go ahead and put the uh, profit up at the right-hand corner. And we did get, everything here is $10. The body alone on this Nikon, I think this is like a FE, like the first one, should go for like 20 bucks for parts. The lens should probably go for like 15, so you're looking at 35 bucks there. So it's already $25 in the profit. And Donald here, hard to find, I'm thinking we can get him for probably 12 to 15 dollars plus shipping it's been rough at thrifting today but so we'll take that did you see him how cool is he he's dingy oh but he's good he's not that yeah. good no you know who that is it's frosty that's frosty the original frosty how do you know he's the original With the corn frosty cob pipe and the button nose and two eyes made, made out, out of coal. coal his eyes aren't made out of coal no, is he is leather no. so it's gonna take forever to find this thing he's dizzy ah, what, is what is that i don't know but it, it might come alive at night time and kill you Hey, brand new. Oh yeah. Probably not he worth. looks like an older one. Does he does look older, doesn't yeah. he? Yeah. Hey, how old are you? Oh, I don't know how old I am. These things are in good condition. Well, they truly aren't that bad. I have to look them up though, because some of them are good, some of them not so good. These are Vionix. Last one sold for forty nine, with best offer this they don't look terrible just a little cleaning is the back's broken yeah it's got like a slight hole oh slight hole yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. always gotta look at the all right the old case of dilla maker they want six bucks for goes for like 25 it's pretty clean, but I'm gonna leave it behind just because we have a lot of stuff. But that looks like it sells through pretty good. Probably make 10 bucks on it. Not me though. Dang, AirPods. You're ridiculous. <laughs> In Goodwill number three, you found everything. What did you find? So we got this Clemson Legends sweatpants extra extra large brand new with the tags 1889 and then we got how much they go for like 20 bucks yes so everything at this go will cost us 18 dollars. so this right here should put us in the profit and the rest of this is actually profit then we got mickey mouse halloween what was he called? He's called the Magician. The Magician. The, the Spooky Magician. Spooky Magician. If you have Minnie and him, it's like 50 bucks. Just him, 25. And then we got some Sorrells. Sorrells. Now it's got a little bit of wear here, but I think we'll still be able to get money because inside they're barely worn. Wow, they look barely worn. I think, I think they wore just big socks or something. Probably. And then you picked this one up. I picked up a Build-A-Bear with the tag. Probably not worth a lot of money here, but it still has the tag on it. I have to uh, throw up a sole comp here, but I thought it, it was worth at least a dollar. Then we got Willow, a little fish. Everybody's dog Brand just went new. crazy. Brand new. All right, the last Salvation Army. Store four. Store four. 
and uh, we actually have been doing pretty terrible today. Be real. This is pretty dirty. Yeah. Hmm. Old rubber boots. Rubber boots. For five bucks, not bad. You think that these would be clean? They're worth like fifty bucks. See that? Mm. Pass on condition. How much? They're worth like fifty. That's a lot of cleaning for fifty bucks. We're gonna leave these behind, but these are not bad. That's a lot of cleaning for fifty dollars. So, but. I know there's like a whole bunch of resellers in here and everybody walked right by this. And so did I actually when I first got in here. Storing Mrs. Claus from Eckert's. Who remembers Eckert's, right? Um, only for $4.99. This thing goes for about $50. It honestly, it's got batteries. Let's see if they're corroded. Uh, they don't look that bad. So this is 100%. These all that animated things usually go for a decent amount of money so for five bucks easy 35 to 40. what else we got over here he's all messed up but that's not bad all right so everybody walked by this it's been sitting out and uh i did look it up it's for only 4.99 sometimes these old vintage old animated vintage like uh Santa Claus's, Mrs. Claus, and any type of Christmas decorations can go for decent money. The one that has this blanket seems to go for the most amount. There's one that may be a little bit newer that has just a green blanket, but this one's from 1993. And the last time it sold was $49.99 free shipping. It's probably going to take about $12 to ship, so easy $30 bucks made here. All right, we're going to go over two things we got in the mail. Thank you so much for the flipping moose. We're going to go ahead and definitely put that one right there on the toolbox. And thank you so much, Alex and Tina, for this really cool Jurassic World dinosaur. And he is going to go over here on the shelf somewhere. So I much appreciate it. Also, uh, stickers are en route to y'all. All right, so not a great day at the thrift store. I think we made after fees and the stuff you were seeing at the very top, that was after I took 20% in fees, which is a little bit high, but I want to be realistic about it. So I think it was like $257 for the total day. That stuff is not hard to list. You did see us leave behind the Nike shoes just because we really don't buy shoes anymore that need a lot of cleaning because I know myself and I'm telling you right now, those shoes would not be listed for like a year. I would just put them away and have other things to list. We just have so much other like stuff to list that isn't listed and those shoes we just kicked to the back burner. I know that 100%. So we left them behind actually some, someone did pick them up so hopefully they'll be cleaned and listed and good to go. They're also a smaller size. They were size seven and a half. Um, so I think that's a smaller size. So I was like, ah, let's go ahead. If it was like a 10 or 11, maybe I would have picked it up because they sell a little bit faster for me, but I still probably wouldn't have cleaned it in a year or two. So not terrible, not great. I'll tell you that the thrift stores around here, we haven't been in them probably in a month or two, but they really are expensive. Now we went down to the one and they had a pair of used shoes for $60 and they weren't like any type of name brand. I, I looked them up on eBay. They go for like 20 bucks, maybe 15 bucks in pre-owned condition and they were wanting 60 bucks for them. I don't know if thrift stores, cause I was looking at some of my old videos. I just don't know if thrift stores are going to be a source of large quantities of inventory like they were for me like three years ago. Now maybe in your area you still have super good thrift stores, but we like going to the thrift stores just to see what they have, but to buy like a cart full of stuff, if it's not a bins, if it's just a regular like retail place like we have, I just don't know if it can be done three years ago, four years ago, I found like Dymo label printers in there, like 10 to 15 of them. Uh, they were all used, but they still have the original boxes and stuff. I just haven't seen anything that good recently. So we're gonna keep going. We're not giving up on the thrift stores, but it does seem to be a lot harder. We're gonna have to find, because when yard sale season slows up, then you ha I have to go find you know places to find other inventory. So we, we're trying to think of other ways. We're maybe thinking about storage units, because I actually think, I really like doing storage units. It's just a treasure trove of stuff in there, but usually I end up also with a lot of trash and a lot of stuff 
that you need to store, which we are running out of space already in that big unit that we got. So thank everybody so much for buying bracelets from Kayla. I think she's actually sold out right now. By the time this video publishes, there will be more bracelets in our Etsy store. We might be on vacation then, so the Etsy store will be actually on vacation mode. But uh, go ahead if you want to, link down below to take a look at her bracelet. She's doing an excellent job. And again, thank you for all the support. We do appreciate everybody that watches. You know we will always get you on the next one.